Welcome. Because I've gotten calls and emails on HOTMA subjects that some of you are not sure of or have questions about, we will attempt to answer some of those. HOTMA introduced two new asset disqualifiers for both applicants and in-place households. First, there's asset caps disqualifier, which means the household will be ineligible for assistance if the family has assets in excess of $100,000, which may include a person or a household owning real property. The second disqualifier is ownership of real property. There are things to consider that may be an exception here. First, is a property jointly owned by a non-household member that does not live with the family. An example would be the head of household and a sibling own the property, but the head of household does not own it outright. Secondly, is it suitable for habitation, meaning is it safe to live in, or is the property unsafe? An example of that would be maybe the property has been condemned. Thirdly, the property does not meet the disability needs of one or all of the household members. An example of that could be that a person who's in a wheelchair cannot easily access the property. Fourthly, the property is not sufficient for the size of the family. A perfect example of that could be there's a household of six, but yet there are only two bedrooms or one bedrooms to the existing property that they own. Next, the property is geographically located whereas it will put a hardship on the family. An example of that would be the property is located in Connecticut, but the family lives in Virginia. HUD stated in the notice H202310 that they will also issue additional guidance on the use of the discretionary authority, things that you could put in to determine whether or not your family meets the threshold. Thanks and tune in next week for another Tuesday Tip.